Callisto awaits the arrival of Diana, unaware that Jove has deceived her once again. Alone and heartsick, she yearns for Diana's kisses and embrace. At this point in the myth and in the libretto, Juno, in a jealous fit, summons forth two furies who transform Callisto into a bear and consign her to wander through the forest in the company of other bears. Imagine the fear of poor Callisto, her heart broken, confused and exhausted. Unable to speak, she is tormented and cannot make sense of what is happening. Juno, her fury spent, is ready to return to Olympus. But first, she addresses the women of the world, reflecting ironically and bitterly on marriage, fidelity, and her own turbulent relationship with her husband. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Joe finally confesses all to Callisto and reveals that he, and not Diana, was her lover. He explains that he cannot undo Juno's spell, but promises that after she has lived out her life as a bear, he will elevate her to the stars. Jove offers to show her a glimpse of her future life among the firmament. As Callisto contemplates eternity as part of the great Orion constellation, we too will see a vision of the future as imagined by the cast of Callisto who provided photos and videos about what they most look forward to once the pandemic is finally over and what they miss most about life prior to COVID-19. Bella mia, bella mia sospirata, semplice da incanata, tali affetti a di quel supremo Dio e del c'è il mondo dall'intimo e profondo le teo sens caccia il timor che fiero l'anima ti scommenta Entro nel cuore, ti infonde le sue glorie, ti infonde le sue glorie, il tuo, il tuo motore. Al cielo, al cielo, s'ascenda, s'ascenda. Questi ardori scocchi baleni, scocchi baleni, doppi splendori l'accer di dello. Al cielo, al cielo, al cielo, al cielo, al cielo. Endymion is threatened with death unless he renounces his love for Diana. P. 
più che schiocco esser poi libero col negare amore l'idolo che di te cura non prendo no e morir prima desideri che formar questo ripudio morir 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 prima desideri che formar questo ripudio Lega tua gli aceri, costri si maceri Ed elia misera qui venga poscia A far le seguie alla sua requie When Diana arrives, Pan presents himself to Diana as her true love and pleads with her to reconsider. Torna piacevole vela trigemina e gioie semina nel sendu languido a cui ti fecero doni pieghevole torna piacevole torna Torna piacevole. But Diana firmly rejects Pan's attempts to win her affection. Yeah, that's the idea, oh. right? Yeah, right, yeah. Oh. Which elicits a final spiteful reaction from Pan and Silvano. Afterwards, Diana frees Endymion, who reaffirms his undying love for her. They pledge to content themselves with only kisses. Vivo per te pietosa Spiro, spiro per te clemente Gioia mia, gioia mia lumi Pena mia, pena mia, risplendente Pria che te rinegare Pria che te rinegare still explores a host of fundamental questions concerning the cosmos, destiny, eternity, love, death, fidelity, revenge, sensual pleasure, and even gender identity. In our very abridged version, we've used the current moment, the COVID-19 pandemic, and our being apart from each other, from our campus, from our classrooms and studios, as an occasional reference point to explore some of the issues that run through this deeply beautiful opera.
The goal was to create a unique virtual production of Callisto that would remain true to the spirit of the opera and its music. All the while being separated from one another and spread throughout the world. With no production elements and only our cell phones and laptops as a means of communication. We bring our production to a close now with a final look at the main characters and the objects of their love. As each one curls up for the night and dreams of what might lie ahead. Il fatto unirà. 